So what are subnuts? Imagine you had a bag of jelly beans and you ripped the bag open and you dumped all of the jelly beans into a bowl. At first sight, that pile of jelly beans might look like a huge mess. But let's say you took that same bag of jelly beans and instead of everything going into one big bowl, you had now say five different bowls and you sorted each of the jelly beans by flavor. So now you have a group of green apple jelly beans, red cherry jelly beans, pink strawberry jelly beans. You get the idea. Now it's organized and you can quickly identify which group, which flavor uh, of like jelly beans are which. Well, that's essentially the role that subnets play in the networking world. They allow you to group together devices or whatnot so that you can organize and segment your network for security purposes, for organizational clarity when it comes to device management, which is really nice. So now instead of all of your devices being on one subnet or one common network, you can have a separate network for say computers, another network for phones, and let's say another network for security cameras. So that's the vital role that subnets play in the networking world.